the Buddhist statues of the emperors, Yung Gang Grottoes. This is Da Tong City in Shanxi province in China. It was a capital of the Northern Wei dynasty, founded at the end of the 4th century. There are many grottoes from the Northern Wei period at the foot of the mountains here. Construction began in the middle of the 5th century. They cover a one kilometer distance. The statue here is of Emperor Wen Cheng. He ordered construction to commemorate the spirit of past emperors. He deified them by carving Buddhist statues resembling each one. This statue is made in an image of Emperor Tao Wu. Tao Wu united the war-torn northern region. Various states in northeastern China during the 4th century battled for supremacy following the fall of the Han people's Western Jin dynasty. Emperor Tao Wu brought those conflicts to an end and founded the Northern Wei dynasty. He used Buddhism as an instrument of governance, making his people worship the emperor as a Tathagata Buddha. The third emperor, Tai Wu, however, took advice from the Taoist Han people. He renounced Buddhism and killed many monks. The small Buddha statues carved into his statue's robe were aimed at appeasing the spirits of monks who had been murdered. Emperor Tai Wu issued a decree outlawing Buddhism, but when he was later assassinated, it soon regained its status. Crown Prince Ching Mu, the son of Emperor Tai Wu, secretly backed the Buddhist cause. He, though, passed away before becoming emperor and without fulfilling his ambition of restoring Buddhism. The next emperor, Wen Chen, reaffirmed Buddhism as the state religion by building grottos containing giant Buddhist statues. Under his rule, the grottos became increasingly decorative. This is the music cave. These Apsara figures are clearly different from the earlier Buddhist carvings. Numerous Buddhist statues were carved in this cave onto the 14 meter high columns. The carvings became more intricate at the height of Buddhist art in Yungang. However, the capital was moved to Luoyang at the end of the fifth century. Yungang was left deserted and forgotten until the beginning of the 20th century.